stuck on the tarmac with no immediate chance of getting off the ground. British airspace has been totally closed. Airports in part of Europe, including France, Norway and Finland, have all cancelled flights, causing massive disruption for passengers. Personally, with having small children, I think it's more frustrating where we're sitting around all day. We don't know whether we're going to be here or whether we're going to be going or what. So it's a little bit frustrating that aspect, you know. We can totally accept why we're not flying. So it's not as if like we're sitting here, we're angry or anything. So we just have to bide with it. And this is the cause of this air traffic crisis, an eruption at a glacier hundreds of kilometres away in Iceland. It sent a large ash cloud into the atmosphere containing tiny particles of rock and glass. The cloud is now moving south. It's harmless to people on the ground. For aircraft, it's far more problematic, having the capacity to clog up a plane's engine or even shut it down completely. The way an aircraft engine works, it sucks air in, compresses it, forces it out the other side. That creates thrust that can fly. If that air is contaminated with soot and ash, it makes it very dangerous to the aircraft. And indeed, there have been a number of air crashes as a result of this in the past. No one is prepared to take a chance with people's safety. Passengers now face a long wait. The disruption is likely to last well into Friday. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera.